strangler version of a cat booby. We'll crack on and get this tied. The hook is a one that's stuck. The H25XH from Hanak. His new barbed or trophy range as he likes to call them. This is a 10. Thread for the underbody is UTC fluorescent fire orange. We'll catch that on. Trim away the tag end. Well, for the wing and tail, this is spring water blue marabou. Uh, this is obviously white, if you didn't know. This is from Dave Downing, so I've got a good thumbnails pinch. Yeah. All you want, hopefully you can see this. These little fluffy bits is your edge of your tail. So you run your finger and thumb through it, you'll feel it change. Just put your finger together, snap them off. You end up with that. You can have the tail as long as short as you like, depending on what rules you're fishing to. We will go for as long as the shank, so we'll keep that there. Trim away that. Finger and thumb. And just take away the fluff from the marabou stalks. Catch that in. As you're tying it in, if you think the tail's too long, it's not the end of the world. But just tie that up. Now for the main part of the body, this is fluorescent chartreuse pseudo hackle from Hairline. This is the one inch stuff. I'll just cut it roughly down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly even as you can see. What a Will say as well, as you can probably tell, it's got a bit of a lean on the fibres, depending on which way it's been stored. So what you want to do is have the fibres leaning back, so when you catch it in and create the body, everything's lying back over. So I'll catch that in on my side. Tie everything up. Just bring it over, touch and turns, and when this is wet, you get the fluorescent fire orange showing through. Create the body touch and turns. Don't forget you've got your wing, so you need to give yourself a bit of space for the wing and the eyes. A couple of turns to secure that. Trim that. Tidy that up. Get a wax on the thread ready for the wing. Again with the Bring water blue, slightly generous pinch, that's about two inches worth. Just peel them off, again pinch all the, the butt end of the fibres and get them a roll. As you can see there's a definite line where the fluffy tips are for the edge of your wing, again finger and thumb. Well, depending on which way you've got it, you probably notice there's a bit of a slight curve to it. Ideally, you want the curve to go with the wing. So, there we go. See how close that is. Marry it up. You can always trim it with your finger and thumb. One there that I've not quite pulled in, get rid of you. Bring that tail tied up, get another pull. Just tight, shorten that tail up a bit. Just come in with your finger and thumbnail. A little bit of Mark 1 glue, I'll just dampen that a bit. Make sure everything's happy and lined up. Just tidy that up. Now for the collar. 
I've got. This is 15 mil neon struggle. Kind of the plasticky fibre one that you've seen floating about on the internet. This one's from Funky Fly Tying. I've had this quite a while. Toby sent me this. Thank you very much, mate. This is a probably a fluorescent coral orange. Looks very orange on the video there. I'll try and at least show it, but it catches the light very well, very shiny. So square end. Missed that. Kind of typical. I've got a bit of just one bit of fiber on the coral. Try that again. Tidy that up. Again, pull the fibres through your finger. Some will come off, typically. There's one turn. Two. Yeah, thread over the top through the middle of the fibres. With your scissors and Take away the waste. A couple of turns to tidy up. Now that in itself is a perfectly good mini lure. I'd probably shorten it slightly. Oh, bit of fluff there. Now for the eyes. Got a bit of 5mm plasters up. You can see that there. I've cut and shaped them. Another video, which I'll put the link up to in the description. So right through the middle you can see that there I'll try and show that in the video right through the middle single turn stroke all that fibers back get hold of everything three turns through the middle without getting too fiddly keep everything tight There we go, three turns to secure that either side. Come in with your whip finish. One, two, three. Now, then we come with the trusted resin to secure the eyes. Let's blend that 180. Drop either side of the hook shank. Laser pen. Just to set them eyes. There we go. Cat strangler ruby. Pseudo body on this one. Do want a ten to twelve. Scale the eyes down on a twelve. Maybe a four mil. Brilliant little pattern.